Hi, grade eights. Um, this video is just going to go over the answer keys to the last four worksheets. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the ramp or incline plane worksheet. So you can just check your answers and if you got any incorrect, make sure you understand uh, what you did wrong. And if you um, have any questions, you can email me. Okay, so the first one, um, remind you that you should be putting the equation so tma equals ramp over rise then your numbers 21 centimeters over se 7 centimeters make sure you're putting the centimeters equals 3. so that's number one number two same equation but 21 over 1 centimeters so that's 21. number three is uh, 100 centimeters over 20 centimeters is 5. Number four is 40 centimeters over 20 centimeters equals 20. And then uh, the extra question here. So we've got 100 newtons of uh, load force divided by 20 mechanical advantage. So that would be four newtons is the effort force. Okay, so let's go to the pulley worksheet. This one is really important. You're checking your work because I think of, of all of them. This one was the one more people had some incorrect answers. Um, so the first A here, we've got one fixed, zero movable, a total mechanical advantage of one. So there's one supporting rope. You don't count the, se the second rope because it's going down. So that the last rope is going down, you don't count it. If it's going up, you do count it. Okay, so B, zero fixed, one mobile pulley, and the mechanical advantage is two. So you count this rope and you count this rope. This rope counts, it's the last one, but it's going up, so that's why it counts. Okay, C, um, one fixed, one movable pulley, and you've got one, two supporting ropes. This does not, th the third last one doesn't count because it's going down, so the mechanical advantage is two. And then uh, D, you've got one fixed and two movable pulleys and mechanical advantage is four. So we've got one, two, three, and this one's pulling up, so it's four, four supporting ropes. Okay, and then the next page. Uh, so E, we have one fixed one movable and three supporting ropes so one two three last one's up so it counts uh, f one fixed two movable remember a double pulley is two and mechanical advantage is four so we've got one two three four supporting ropes so if the last one's going up you count it uh, g So we've got one fixed, zero movable. Com the mechanical advantage is one because there's only one supporting rope. This one's going down, doesn't count. H, this pulley here. So one fixed, one movable, mechanical advantage of two. So we've got one, two. Last one doesn't count because it's going down. Okay, uh, I is this pulley here so we've got two fixed double is two one movable and mechanical advantage of three so one two three the last one doesn't count because it's going down and uh j two fixed two movable and the mechanical advantage is four so one two three four the last one doesn't count because it's going down Okay, so that's pulleys, and so we had a wheel and axle worksheet. I think most people got that correct. So we have TMA is radius of wheel over radius of axle, so 98 millimeters over 16 millimeters is equal to 6.1, so just round to one decimal place. Number two is three. Make sure you're showing the equation, numbers with the units, and then an answer. Number three is 2.9. Number four is 
Number four is 59.2. Okay, and then the simple machine worksheet. Okay, so I'm just going to go over each of them. So we did go over A already. So let's go over B. So we've got a wheel and act, or we've got a wheelbarrow. So we've got a class two lever. Um, the whole thing is a lever. There's a wheel and axle on the wheel, and even the little bit here that hooks into the ground when it's sitting is could be a wedge. Um, the wrench. So I just sort of drew an imaginary uh, handle. So the whole thing is a lever. There's uh, in between here little wedges, and this is a screw here. It, it twists. So just move that out of the way so you can see the boat prop. Uh, it's you, you hold on to this handle and you swing it back and forth to make your boat move. So that's a lever. And then it makes this whole thing, if you're looking straight down at it, a wheel and axle. This part here is also a lever. And then we have a propeller spinning. So anytime you have a fan or a propeller, it's actually spinning. If you look at the air, the air movement is in a form of a screw. So that's also a screw. A, a screwdriver. It, the whole thing is a lever. The bottom is a wedge. But if you look at a uh, wheel, uh, if you look at it from straight down, you can see that it's a bigger circle here and then a smaller circle here. And so you're turning the bigger circle, and that's turning the smaller circle, and that's a, a form of wheel and axle. And a an axe is a lever right across. It's a lever, but, but also um, it the part that digs into the the wood is the wet, a wedge. And a pair of scissors, the, each kind of bar here is a lever that it's held together by a screw. And then each edge of the cutting part of the scissors are wedges. So I hope that helped you and let me know if you have any questions.